In the spring of 2022, we fell in love with a small farm in the Castella Branco region of central Portugal. Within a matter of weeks, I was visiting the farm for the very first time and signing the deeds. Despite the overgrown and neglected land and renovation required on the buildings, we could see the potential and beauty our perfect piece of Portugal held. Join us on our journey as we breathe life back into our farm and attempt to create a self-sufficient off-grid haven for ourselves and our family to enjoy. Hi, we're Mark and Jane. And welcome to our perfect piece of Portugal. Welcome back to another beautiful sunny winter's morning from our farm here in central Portugal. Um, I've just been ransacking Bertie for things that I can find and I've made like a wonderful curtain for the bathroom door seeing as we've ripped the door off because it needs replacing. So I've used one of the big long grey curtains so that's serving as a bathroom door. I've got a pair of curtains up now at the little window which is going to be brilliant for blocking these drafts that we're getting at night. And uh I've just measured up the um, the tile effects lino that's in the you know the the cushion floor and mm, give or take you know a few centimeters it should work we should be able to uh, repurpose that in the bathroom so hopefully by the end of the day uh, it'll all be done the toilet will be fitted and um, I've just got one last little bit of painting around the top to do but that's not a problem I can do that anytime get the flooring down um, yeah and. Um, Put all the nice things in and make it look uh, like home. Oh my word! Oh. If this is winter in Portugal, I'm in. I know it's been rainy, but oh God, you couldn't ask for more than this. That's pretty decent. Oh. So yeah, my face is burning. Um, I'm just having a little rest. I've just been down, back down to um, the bottom of the land where all the willow trees are, um, and I've harvested about six, yeah, six more um, kind of quite tall branches that I'm going to use as the uprights on my um, my willow arch. Now I'm just like um, I'm just winging this. I haven't really got like a, a clear plan in my brain apart from that I've got. I need eight uprights, I've got some braces for the sides and then I need to try and get some bits that are going to bend over um, for, the, for the top to make the arch. So I'm just kind of um, going to dig them into the ground, I'm going to anchor them to the pieces of rebar that I've stuck in where I want the posts to go. Um, yeah, I'm going to use cable ties I think that'll be sufficient and then the kind of um, supports for the sides I'm just going to screw to the uprights and I'm not really sure about the top yet that's as far as like my thinking's gone so I'm just going to like get stuck into it really and, and see how far I go there's other kind of jobs that I need to do um, that are probably you know more on the priority list but hey ho it's a beautiful day um, I've not really been very creative since I've been here this time it's just all been about plumbing and joinery. So, I mean, this, I suppose it's a bit like joinery. I've got to screw things together. But, um, yeah, I feel like I just need to do something nice. <laughs> yeah, okay. Gee whiz, I look red. <laughs> right, I've got my microphone on today because even though it's uh, warm, as you can tell, um, it's still quite windy, so, yeah. Right, I'm just going to show you um, kind of where I'm up to so far with this uh, willow arch. And then I'm just really just going to get on with it and uh, and see see where I get. I think I've got a bit of um, ground clearing that I need to do as well. Um, still like the, the veg beds that I was going to use, but then I've obviously cut that back to just these two for now. So I've got to level them out and get rid of some of these weeds that are, um, well, Mark trimmed them, but obviously all the roots are still there. So I'd like to try and 
at least in this patch where the arch is going uh, yeah I'd I'd like to get rid of them um, right let me turn you around and, and talk you through what's going on in my brain okay right so this is where I've decided to put the arch let me just give you um, a better kind of view of it so that's that side of the veg garden so I've got my planters and my veg beds and I'm kind of going down the center I don't want it to be too too tall just tall enough so you can walk under it because I don't want to spoil the view that we've got down there of obviously you know the land and the fields and the mountains and everything else so I don't want like some huge monstrosity I just want it like at least six foot so six foot people can walk through it comfortably and if you're any taller than that I'm sorry but you're gonna have to duck so I've got my um, eight uh, pieces of rebar in like I say it's not going to be huge we can always like um, extend this if we feel like we really like it and things are growing well on it so I've got four on this side four on that side um, this is the uh, six pieces that I've just been down and, and harvested I've got two nice really chunky ones that I'm going to put at the front so that's my eight uprights and then I've got like some smaller pieces just to like support the sides to hold it all together um, I think I might kind of do some kind of crisscrossy kind of things as well um, just so there's a bit more for the plants to grab onto so yeah I mean even if I just get that far and don't get the top done this time it's you know it's not a problem like I say it's uh it's not a priority it's just something that I'd really I'd really like to kind of make a start on um, yeah right, I've just spent a little uh, a little bit of time just kind of weeding that area um, yeah just trying to get rid of some of the big weeds I am going to put some cardboard down the middle and around the edges just to try and combat the weeds but um, yeah I think I've got I've got the ground prepared pretty well now so I think I'm I'm almost ready to start. Um, I would like to get the uh, the passion fruit um, planted in here. Okay, so I've got my tools. I've got my screwdriver. Uh, I've got some cable ties. I've got the hammer. I've got my spade to dig my holes for my branches. So I think I'm pretty much ready to go.
You're chilling when the rain You're some kind of butterfly Baby, you give me a bit that I You whip up my appetite Don't leave me in It's probably a bit taller than what I uh, actually wanted but I'm not doing the arch top just yet so um, I can get up and cut it down a little bit more if I need to um, I just need to stand in the veranda and just see whether it is obscure in the view or not but yeah there's plenty of headroom uh, they seem to be in the ground quite securely so yeah I probably will take that down a little bit it is quite quite tall but that's fine but are too tall and too short, I suppose. It's taking shape nicely now. Um, got two, four, five in, three more to go, and then I can start putting the um, the kind of the braces across the sides to give it some more strength. But yeah, I think it's it's going quite well. I mean, to say I was only supposed to be planning this this time. Yeah, I'm happy, happy with the progress.
months ago. Yay, two months ago. Oh, I'm so happy, look. It's up. Mostly got to do the sides, but just let me show you from the front. A front view. I think the way the branches have all kind of gone in has, has worked really well. So that should be really easy to make an arch with that. Yeah! Woohoo! Right, I'm going to stabilise it now with some uh, side bracing. Oh yeah, I'm well chuffed. Yay! Right, one side of the side bracing's almost finished. It's looking quite rustic, I like it. Uh, but I've just had to stop because I've seen that great big bird again. What bird is that, anybody? Can you identify it? I'm extremely worried that it's after my fish, so I'm going to scare him away again. Right, I've not fitted it properly yet, um, but just what a difference that makes. It's unbelievable. Half a decent floor in and uh, yeah, it's totally transformed this room. So it doesn't quite fit down the edge, but I'm hoping um, I've got a bit over here that I might just patch that up a little bit. So I'm just going to do a bit of cutting and try and make the hole in it for the drain. And yeah, then I shouldn't actually need to cut out the whole thing for the toilet, just, just the drain thing. That's uh, what I'm thinking anyway. Right, okay, let's get going. Right, this um, steak knife has worked a treat. So the floor's down. I've tried to glue it as best I can. See, it's just rising and um, just, just a little bit here. I might have to put something over that uh, so nobody's tripping. So yeah, I'm just going to paint that little bit down at the back. Um, I've made holes for the sewerage pipe, the shower and the sink. My holes are now marked for the toilet. So I've got a drill through there and hopefully I'm going to be able to get these screws in. Well, these bolts, I have no idea how I'm going to do that. Um, so yeah, let's, let's see if I can get the toilet in place. Okay, so the old pipe now from the cistern um, into the toilet has been removed. Uh, I've drilled the holes um, in the drain for the drain. <laughs> None of my masonry bits were getting through those tiles. I don't even think they were like those tiles that you have to have a special drill bit through. But I don't know, probably. So I ended up just smashing the tile a little bit just so I could get a grip. And um, yeah, there wasn't really much else other than the tile. So, so I've got gaping holes there, but you know, we'll work around it. I think I'm almost ready for silicone. So I've attached that pipe there and put a rubber, um, a rubber washer in here, but for extra safety and well, not safety, but you know, just to make sure that I've, I've got no leaks. I'm going to silicone all the way around that. Uh, I've got the end part of the pipe that fits into the back of the loo. Um, I felt like it wasn't a nice tight enough fit. So the previous pipe, the black pipe, had um, some of these rubber washer things on. I did try um, a really big one. Um, sorry. Uh, this one, but it, that was too too big and that would have given a really good tight fit. So anyway, I've got I've got this older one on and again once that's in that's all going to be siliconed in. I've got the drain thing in which sits um, Obviously on the bottom of the toilet and I'm going to silicone all around there hopefully get the toilet sat on it correctly and then the Bolts are all ready to go. <laughs> I don't think they'll take much screwing. They're just going to fall through the holes. But I'll silicone all around the bottom of the toilet anyway, just so, you know. Uh, well, as long as you don't dance on the toilet, I'm, I'm sure it's not going to move very far. So I think I'm ready.
Wish me luck. Well, do you know what? I think I might have actually just installed my first toilet. Now, I'm not counting my chickens or anything. Um, I'm going to wait till all the silicone is set and give it a whirl tomorrow. But this joint here has had all that special plumbing tape on and siliconed. Um, the pipe in the, the drain under the toilet has all been siliconed in. Around the edge of the toilet has been siliconed. The only thing I'm a bit concerned about is, is this pipe here. The one that I put um, an extra kind of rubber ring thing on. Um, I've silicone around it and hoping that it doesn't leak. Um, I'm going to test it all tomorrow when the silicone's dry. And uh, yeah, see what happens. So, woohoo! One new toilet. That feels absolutely amazing. I just hope. <laughs> I hope I'm still feeling like that when I test it tomorrow. Fingers crossed, we'll see. I bet everybody was waiting for that. I know, safety first. Whew, that was close. I'll tuck them in. I will buy myself a workbench, I promise you. And a power pack. I'd love a power pack to use my sander and my jigsaw and everything else. I'll tell you what, I don't need the heater on with this. Whew. That's certainly one way to save on your heating bills. Right, all them little side pieces are cut. I shall assemble. Manana. Don't know if that's Portuguese, I know it's Spanish. For tomorrow. Right. That's it. I'm done. Oh, terminado. That's Spanish as well. I really need to learn some Portuguese words.